Hi everyone, Team Armor Brick is here, my name is Max and today we have another review video for you guys. This is the Merkava MK4 Israeli main battle tank for you guys by Armor Brick, by our team. This kit contains only brand new and original Lego and Brick Arms elements plus printed building instruction. Standard Armor Brick scale is 1 to 35 as always. The skill level of this kit is 3 out of 5 and the design was created by Gutnikov Kirill. You can check out his personal Instagram account as well at Gutnikov Kirill. All the links will be down in the description to this video as always. By the way guys, this kit is available right now on our website armorbreak.com. You will find the link if you want to purchase this kit down in the description as well. And now let's proceed with our review video. So this kit contains a lot of different cool features and I'm very excited to walk you through all of them. So let's begin with the turret of the kit. As usual, the turret of our main battle tank by Armor Brick rotates 360 degrees, so you can aim it in the right direction. The main gun can be manipulated up and down. And now let me walk you through the capacity of our kit in terms of the minifigures that you can fit inside it. So first of all let me tell you about the hatches on the turret of our kit. As usual not on all our kits, not on all our main battle tanks, but on most of them we have two hatches on the turret. On this particular kit we also have two hatches that you can easily open and put your minifigures inside. As always let me take the soldier and put it in the first hatch in the right hatch and the second one will go inside the left one so together they are very comfortable in here as you can tell they have plenty of room for you to add the guns if you want and uh, please notice guys that there is no mount for uh, a gun either for M2HP gun or for uh, the M60 original brick arms gun however you can definitely add your own mount to the turret of our armor brick kit and attach the brick arms gun or whatever gun you use to the turret of our kit all right so with that being said let me also tell you about uh, the back hatch that is located right under the turret of our kit right in the middle of the rear end of our kit so this hatch is open like that the upper half goes up and the bottom one goes down of course so you have the entrance inside the tank however it is here for the historical accuracy of course because it will obviously be a tough challenge for you to fit a minifigure. Oops, stand still. Guys, we have several minutes of our review left, so please hang on. So, we obviously can try to fit a minifigure inside, but it will be a challenge, so <laughs> something like that. However, you can uh, definitely open and close this back hatch whenever you want. You have the option. All right, so let's put our soldier back on the table. Let's close the back entrance. All right, and now let me show you the kit closely.
before we go guys let me encourage everyone to visit our instagram page at armor brick because we regularly post some fire photos videos and keep you up to date with all armor brick news if you want even more content from team armor brick then you are very welcome to visit our facebook page at armor brick as well we post there some behind the scenes stuff so you won't be bored at all we promise you i also encourage everyone to visit our armor brick brickling store you will find a lot of different original lego parts and elements there as well as a lot of different minifigures including harry potter star wars and a lot more feel free to visit our armor brick brickling store right now the link will be down in the description to this video as always all right thank you once again for watching this video guys we hope you enjoyed it if you still have any questions regarding this particular kit please comment down below and we will happily answer them have a nice day and we'll see you next time goodbye guys